most people will probably think I'm crazy, you know, <laughs> for putting this out because this is million dollar information. This isn't, this isn't free information, you know? And as much as I, I, I wanna make a million dollars off of it in the, in the physical, my heart is built different, you know? And so, now, we're gonna get into some things. Let me adjust this real quick, so fam, cause I, I know we got, we got, we on sun time today. What's up, talk about it. Okay. Yes. So fam, listen, get your brand on the menu, all right? You gotta understand that there's a menu out there for everything right you know you go to the restaurant you look they have a menu they have drinks they have appetizers they have sides they have a selection right that allows someone to look at what it is they can enjoy in the moment right so say if someone's on a budget they'll go to the appetizer side right say somebody they come they want it all they go, they're gonna go get them an entree an appetizer a special or maybe even there's some people that come in and they have families and they want a big, you know, they want to they want to purchase something of a larger amount where they can get their their best value, right? And so what you got to understand, so fam, is the the world that we live in today are always looking at a menu, even if it's not physical, right? So right now I'll say, hey, what's your favorite R and B artist, right? Your mind is going to develop a menu of all the R&B artists that they've heard, that you might have heard in the past couple years, days, weeks, whatever that may be. And then once you see that selection, you're gonna to start to look and analyze, okay, this one is particular for this. This artist is particular for that. Now, so fam, this is 360, okay? If someone is looking to buy a candle, you want to make sure you're on that menu of candles if that's something that you enjoy doing okay now don't go and try and run and get on every single menu i mean hey by all means whatever you can handle right but what you got to understand is all right you may be in a place where you don't think your work is good enough you don't think you qualify or whatever negative annotation you have on the brand that you have or the idea that you have you gotta understand that none of that matters. <laughs> What's more important is that you get on that menu until you are qualified enough, okay? So, for instance, if you wanna be an artist, you wanna be a painter, right? There's gonna be people that wanna go to art galleries and you wanna make sure that you're on that menu. <laughs> no matter what it is, if it's sports, there's always going to be someone looking at the menu, all right? So, you already know, so fam, we started our sparkle. I was saying we, because you've been and and you've been literally watching the spoken word journey, right? Like you've seen me from well, a few years ago, just kind of putting poetry together and trying my best, like. I don't really know how this is gonna go, but I know that I really enjoy writing poetry because poetry is something that I used to write all the way back to every grade I can remember, right? And then probably like high school was when I did like a, a poetry slam or something like that. And it was horrible. <laughs> I mean, I don't think it was horrible. I just think like my, my like the way I remember the crowd, is everyone was just like gosh she's angry <laughs> like their face was just like you know and i and i and i probably most likely was very angry okay and what you got to understand is that as i revisited that chapter and was hesitant but still was bold enough to put it out there people enjoyed listening to the spoken word that it is today 
okay? And there probably was someone in the crowd back then that enjoyed it because they clapped. So <laughs> somebody enjoyed it, right? So there's gonna be there's always gonna be someone that's gonna enjoy what it is that you have as long as you're enjoying what it is that you have. Okay, and the importance of being on a menu is so fan. Sometimes someone may not be able to afford Beyonce. Okay, so they're gonna go and look for Solange. No offense. <laughs> someone can't afford a Solange, they're gonna keep going down to okay, well, who's new and who's who's ready? That can show up to my event so i can say that i have an r&b artist you know i have the new or i have this beautiful or i have this amazing you know you're you are going to have a slot somewhere later on along the lines if you never get on the menu you're never giving people the opportunity to choose or reject you right like if someone knows that you're on the menu, eventually you're gonna get a booking. Listen, so fam. I just choked. <coughs> this message is so real. <sighs> oh. <sighs> the worst thing, so fam, listen. <coughs> Seriously, the worst thing you can ever do is, the worst thing you can ever do is not put yourself up against whoever is in that field. If you love it so fam, do it. If you wanna do it, do it. I like, <clears throat> I really, yeah, I know, I, I, don't, I don't like to talk about me too much because it's really about you pushing forward and, and getting to your dreams. I woke up today, I wake up almost every day and I'm looking around at where I landed, you know, like, <clears throat> I didn't see this when I jumped. You know, like I didn't see any of this when I jumped. And so me seeing it when I jumped into faith, you know, as I'm seeing it unfold, it's very beautiful. And oftentimes it's like hard to believe, to be honest. It's hard to believe. And it's difficult because when you spend most of your life believing lies about yourself and you're living in those lies about yourself and then God gives you the opportunity to break free from that and elevate be you and master your craft master your gifts like <clears throat> when you reach that point you won't trade it for the world you know like whatever I, whatever i was doing prior to coaching and spoken word nothing over there would have would, would bring me back that's one <clears throat> so you can just already know like nothing's taking me back there's nothing you have to offer to 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 bring me back to that because god is just that great but god is that patient god is that loving and to not have passion and love for god in return it's like <clears throat> the hardest thing I, I don't want to say the hardest thing because I don't want to break putting out hard on you <clears throat> but if you know we're being transparent the hardest thing is keeping I don't want to say balance because I have balance but that 
control of not being overexcited all the time. You know, like, you know, someone like brings you a gift that you don't expect, right? In that moment, you're like, <gasps> you know, you have that moment of like, <gasps> oh my God, you know, like, oh my God, like, oh my God, Becky, you shouldn't have, you know, and it's like, oh my God, you did, you know? And God gives you that feeling like all day long that sometimes it's like, remember where you're at or not really where you're at, but remember where others are at. You know, when you want to have that compassion, sympathy, love, and you don't want to always seem like you're in a great mood all the time, like something's wrong with you, you know, and making people feel bad about their, you know, life and things like that. I was gonna say, that's probably just the hardest thing is always having compassion for others in that area. Like where you're not pulling yourself down and you're being, you know, miserable. But just remember like everyone didn't do half the things that you have done. And <clears throat> that's okay, you know? And so I share with you so fam that like put yourself on that menu. <laughs> Put yourself on that menu. You'll probably move up so far in that menu so fast that you won't believe it because you'll be like, yo, I didn't even, I, you know, you'll be like, wait, had I stayed over there, you know, doing that, I will have to literally be pulling my lips apart just, just to feel, you know, some type of appreciation or something like that, you know, and God is your biggest support team. Don't think that God is gonna ask you to trust him just so that he can let you go and leave you hanging. You know, and, and a lot of people are like that in this world, believe it or not. Not to say everyone's like that, but I think it's fair, to, it's safe to say, like I've met enough people that have that kind of fear that they're gonna be let go or let down, you know? And God has no reason to let you down. And I think understanding that on a deep level is very important because it's easy to swing back into desperation. You know, desperately thinking you need this person, desperately thinking you need this to be that, desperately thinking you need to be a certain way for God to show you love, desperately thinking God is looking for you to perfect it on, on day one, even day 300. You could be on day 300, day 600 and falling short. But because you trust in God and you loyal to God and you keep showing up and you keep trying, like that is, that is all that is being asked of you. And you gotta be realistic, like, that's all that could, you know what I'm saying? Like, God knows you're a human. God knows how you're made, you know? So like, taking your time and building that relationship as you're trying to move into that avenue is something you have to see for yourself. <laughs> Cause I, I, I can sit here, sing, dance, jump, speak it poetic <laughs> but the actions that you produce is going to speak louder than anything that I could say and so I'm sitting here so famous. I don't even have a cold I was choking <clears throat> I was choking it was so it was so not choking but like I don't know anyways so whatever whatever you do this year Put yourself on the menu. And before you go and put yourself on 20 million menus, <laughs> master the menu that you're on first. Okay, or at least spend enough time with it where you're not spreading yourself too thin. Because it can be overwhelming when you are when you have several gifts. You know, you have the, the ability to be a burger at Wendy's and a burger at McDonald's and a and a burger at Chick-fil-A. And they don't even sell burgers <laughs> right 
but you don't want to create a poor product you know so always remember quality over quantity and that's one of the biggest things that I think you know I highlight a lot of things but that's definitely one of the things that I highlight is like quality I'm mean, like Amelia quality I'll be speaking to myself quality 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 because it always win no matter what like in 10 years from now quality someone like me I'm listening to Sade Sade seemed the temptation of being everything but Sade and if you don't know who Sade, Sade is kiss a life I was gonna say kiss a love it's kiss a life come on when you start to appreciate quality and you and you run into someone like Sade it'll be more valuable you know like she'll have a like if, like say I was Sade and someone sees me in 20 years the the love is going to be constant because of the quality that she put in you know that I put in that you received you know like when someone receives quality it, it chumps all so for I'm, I'm gonna stop right here because I could this topic already is is <laughs> most people will probably think I'm crazy you know <laughs> for putting this out because this is million dollar information. This isn't, this isn't free information, you know? And as much as I, I, I wanna make a million dollars off of it in the, in the physical, my heart is built different, you know? And so I hope you receive this message with love share this video with a friend and hopefully it helps them and in order to be a part of the soul fam all you have to do is subscribe to the channel and if you want to book a session with me my details are always below there's also a free guide on Amelia online academy where you can see where it is in your life that you may need a little healing all right so fam and if your mouth is just a little shocking watch this video type twice in case you miss some things and you already know how it goes i'm gonna see you at the next one. Bye for now.